Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again with another video. In today's session, I'm going to talk about the 10 degrees downward tilt, spoken about it many times before. But over time, you get some more information that comes along and there is a bit of a history to it. So we can look at a bit of the history of the 10 degrees downward tilt, how it came about. One of the other problems is, is that people get into habits and they continue using the 10 degrees downward tilt when they really don't need to be using it. In other words, against the manufacturer's recommendation. So we can look at manufacturer's recommendation and I'm going to talk about still. I'm not a Husqvarna person. Uh, here in Australia, there's about 600 still dealers, which is quite a lot. All government services use still. Uh, Semi-government uh, use still. Just about in every parks and gardens use still. Why? Probably because it's a proven and great product. And let's face it, you've only got still and Husqvarna, really. The others are, yeah, well, yeah. Let's not talk about the others. So, okay, 10 degrees downward tilt. It's been revised three times uh, that I know of. And if you go back as far as 1991, even in the steel manuals, they spoke about using 10 degrees downward tilt. Now, 10 degrees downward tilt even goes way back before 1991. Even going back in the 70s, they spoke about it. And they were also using 10 degrees downward tilt on semi-chisel, right? Not just full chisel. Yeah, still were recommending on their RM chains 10 degrees downward tilt. Why was that? Well, because the teeth had taller side plates. So if you tilted it down, uh, you would cover the whole geometry of the tooth. While not perfect, it served the purpose back in the day. So, okay. Somewhere after 1991, so probably in the late 90s, and we'll put a slide up here, just a, a little bit of a picture there, that actually shows you uh, back in the day how they recommend using the file, even, even with file holders, tilting it down 10 degrees downward tilt. So we've got a couple of slides while we're talking about the 10 degrees downward tilt, and we can even put some pictures up of the 10 degrees downward tilt and no tilt. So, okay, if we look at the three revisions, it was recommended in 1991 that you use 10 degrees downward tilt. It was also recommended that you only hold the file one-tenth of its diameter above the top of the tooth. In that situation, you were certainly bound to get uh, any hook because having your file almost level with the, the tooth you're going to get hook. And that was the reason I believe that they turn around and told people use 10 degrees downward tilt to avoid getting hook. A little bit of hook's okay, but not so, uh, you don't want to be getting too much hook that it's going to damage the, the working corner of the uh, uh, tooth. So then, somewhere around in the 2000s, don't know the exact time period, still... Uh, revised again and turn around and told people to hold the file 20 percent above the top of the tooth while this probably eliminated most people who uh, used a file uh, to get rid of the hook people still ended up stuffing it up and getting it wrong only recently did they advise now that they tell you it's recommended by still that you hold the file a quarter of the diameter above the top of the uh, working corner, the tooth. Now, if you're getting uh, any hook there, you're either most likely using the wrong file. So if you hold your file 25% above the top of the tooth, you're going to get a uh, side plate angle. You should be around your 60, 55 to 60 degrees. And you shouldn't you should not be getting any hook whatsoever. So it's interesting and I've got some notes that I can read out, but basically the cur current recommendation by still is no tilt, right? For other manufacturers they do recommend it. So it's interesting when you look at some of the documentation and information that I've read, 
as to why still turned round and stopped recommending 10 degrees downward tilt. And probably the main reason that I can find with the information that I've got is well, people were over tilting. They were holding the, the file way, way more than 10 degrees downward tilt. So in other words, they were stuffing the geometry up. So still then turn around and realise that the amount of gain that you get from 10 degrees downward tilt as, to, as opposed to people stuffing it up, it's better that we don't recommend 10 degrees downward tilt because the gain that you get from 10 degrees downward tilt is minimal. Whereas the damage that you can do to the tooth uh, and make it less blunt by uh, over tilting. So what we'll do next is just have a bit of a brief uh, uh, some notes that I've, I've written down, and I'll read them out, and it talks about a bit of the tilt into a little bit more uh, complex than what I'm talking about now. Okay, so before we get into the notes, I'd just like to sort of mention about 10 degrees downward tilt, how it came about. Typically, we're going back a very, very long time ago, probably around about the 1960s, and people were filing... Far, far too low into the gullet uh, was recommended. That's what people used to do. And they were creating hook because the file was too low into the gullet or they're using the wrong file. So when they created too much hook, what would happen, and we can put a, another picture up of a chain uh, saw tooth that's got too much hook in it. Uh, typically, that front working corner, as you can see, was more susceptible to damage. So the solution to get rid of the hook and this was even on semi-chisel as well, they advised using 10 degrees downward tilt. And that information stayed right up to you know, mid-90s until they started uh, revising where to hold the file. So while still previously recommended a 10 degrees downward tilt when sharpening chainsaw chain, today this is no longer uh, a standard recommendation. While it was... Once a common practice, particularly for older chains, they now advise against it. So, yeah, here's a, here's a bit more of a detailed uh, explanation. Historically, older steel manuals from around 1990 recommended a 10 degrees downward tilt, particularly for rapid micro, rapid super, topic, uh, and a few other chains. Reasons for the change. Stills shift away from this practice is due to the potential for users to over tilt the file when sharpening. Quite simply, uh, they stuffed it up. So that was the main reason they uh, started to not recommend it. 10 degrees uh, downward tilt when sharpening chainsaw chain was a common practice, particularly for older chains. They now advise against it. It can lead to improper filing and potential damage to the chain's geometry. Reason for change. Stills shift away from this practice is due to the potential users to over tilt the file when sharpening, resulting in too much material being removed from the gullet and potentially damaging the tooth. Modern practices now uh, still focuses on maintaining the correct angle, typically 25 to 35 degrees, and ensuring that the file is held at 90 degree angle to the chain rather than using a specific downward tilt. Is there an alternative approach? Some users still find a slight downward tilt, such as 5 degrees, helpful to reduce the hook on the tooth but it is crucial to avoid over tilting to ensure that the file is guided correctly. I've seen many, many cases where users over tilt and start to file the tie straps. They'll be in excess of 15 degrees. So if you look at the gain that you get from 10 degrees downward tilt, and then if you look at how people over tilt and they start to damage the gullet, they damage uh, the tie straps, then is it really worth doing 10 degrees downward tilt if you're going to stuff that all up? The answer is no, and that's why I still shied away from telling people to use 10 degrees downward tilt. 
even on even on Stool's RS chain, if you look at the chain from the nose, view in from the front, you'll notice that the teeth, or not the teeth, yeah, the teeth, the top plates slope down like that. And we can put a slide up of that. In this situation, I would recommend that you definitely use a bit of tilt. Uh, when you've got the top plates that are sitting horizontal like that, then you don't really need tilt. But that said, I believe that a little bit of tilt, even if it's five degrees, will help, right? So yeah, don't be afraid to give a little bit of tilt. It's not really going to hurt. Just be mindful. Do not over tilt. Because one of the problems when we talk about holding a file and giving 10 degrees downward tilt, how do you know what's 10 degrees downward tilt? At best, you're guessing. Typically, 10 degrees downward tilt, if that's horizontal, 10 degrees is probably something like that, right? Close enough. Yeah, but not holding it down like that. And you see people holding it down like that, and they're filing the tie straps. So, yeah. Clearly see that people can make a lot of mistakes, and that is the reason why I still don't officially recommend 10 degrees downward tilt because people continually stuff it up and if you look at the gain that you get out of 10 degrees downward tilt and you look at the damage they do to the geometry by over tilting there is no gain and it's not worthwhile doing it most of the professional people out there that use chainsaws have a much better understanding of the 10 degrees downward tilt and know whether they should use it or not use it i hope that information helps uh thanks for watching bye for now